Hey Internet, I'm Cassandra and welcome to Things with Cats. Watercolors are tricky when you've got rolling tumbleweeds of fur threatening to ruin your masterpiece at any moment. But today I'll show you how, with a vigilance bordering on pathological paranoia and a can-do attitude, you can still paint a watercolor with cats. You're also going to need a glass of water for your paintbrushes. Let's go get one. Hmm. David, do you know why I didn't notice that earlier? The cat's water fountain broke down about 10 minutes ago. They are going to die of thirst if I can't figure out what type of bowl they like to drink out of. So I am conducting a broad spectrum of experiments. This one is blue and this one is not. This one I'm stirring slowly. This one I'm pouring into that one. This one's bottled. This one's sparkling. This one's filtered. These three are my control group. This one's a placebo. <laughs> okay, sweetie, I'm just gonna grab this one because I need it for my video. Thank you. Okay, um, first thing you wanna do is to dip your brush into this water. Um, oh my god, look, you did it! You cracked the code! I think it's just a coincidence. No, I mean, you did it! Don't, don't change anything. You just saved their lives. Now listen very carefully. You need to keep doing that until we get the new fountain, okay? What? Don't worry, I already put the order in. Well, how long, when, when will it get here? Three to six weeks. You're our hero. No, can do attitude. You can still paint a watercolor. Guys, this is not the time to start fighting.